Good morning. We're here with Ian from Renew Solar Services. Uh, this is his customer. We're here in East Islip. So Ian, this guy called you. What was going on? Why are we here? This customer had solar obviously on his roof and he has a roof leak due to critter damage. So usually that's when a squirrel or something gets underneath the system and starts tearing up the shingles. Mm -hmm. So right now we have to remove the system and we got to get wrapped over here and get a new roof on there. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're happy to provide the roof. All right, so today's removal, we're removing the panels today. Well, they're removing the panels today. Then the next day, tomorrow, we'll be here doing the roof, and, and the two days after that will be the solar reinstall. So Ian, what are some of the most important things during this solar panel removal that homeowners need to think yeah, about? Yeah, so first and foremost, we like to take a map of the whole system. Mm -hmm. We wanna put it up the same way that it came down. Also verifying that the system is operating correctly, you know, because we had critters under there and they could have caused all sorts of damage. So we like to go over the system and give it a once over and make sure that it's all working properly. Awesome. So we're going to test the panels, make sure that the panels are all in working order now. And then once the roof goes on, the reinstall should be seamless. Correct. Yeah. Once we get that reinstall done, we'll re-verify that the system is operating correctly and that this customer is saving money like they should. Awesome. Let's go see what the squirrels did to this roof. All right, so what we have here is we removed a couple of panels, Ray, just to show you guys what's going on. Um, the customer had critters under here. Usually with an installation, um, the customer is supposed to have a critter guard put on here. This wasn't done with this uh, installation. So what we have going on is we have the squirrel or raccoon or something has gotten underneath the panels and they've started ripping up the roof decking. So when that happens, the customer will start getting leaks in the system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the whole system and then Rapid's gonna come through and put a brand new roof on and then we'll re-secure this system back on here watertight and uh, this customer will be good to go. Look, and you can see there's evidence of previous repairs here. Obviously this isn't the first time this has happened. You can see these newer, um, less faded shingles right here. We've got the damage up here. It looks like over here they've replaced some hip and ridge shingles with regular shingles. You can tell right here, this is not from wind. Wind does not pull shingles in a jagged corner. This is from an animal tearing at the roof and trying to get in because this is where the ridge vents start. So they think they can get into the roof where the attic is nice and warm. And this right here, this is what we call a homeowner special repair. This is why you call a professional to repair your roof. But that's okay, the homeowner tried his best. The solar systems, it's a perfect habitat for critters to get under, you know, because the roofing is warm during the winter time. Mm -hmm. and the snow and rain and everything like that, they make their nests under here. And during the winter months, they get a little crazy, a little squirrely. <laughs> they start chewing up the wires and everything. So really, uh, if I had any kind of suggestion to give any homeowner, is put a critter guard around every solar system. You know? Makes sense. It's usually not in the fine print or anything when it comes to the solar contract, but if I had to give any advice to if someone that's looking for solar, mm -hmm. is make sure that that's something that you're getting to, provided to you by the contractor. Absolutely. But what we're gonna do, so like what they're doing right now, is each one of these optimizers, they have their specific location because inside the dashboard of the, um, the solar monitoring system, it shows where each panel is on this mm -hmm. roof. So we need to categorize each one of these optimizers as they're called, and we need to make sure that when we put this system back together, we wire it properly, and we also put each one back exactly where it was on the roof. So what would happen if we took this optimizer and accidentally put it over there? So if anything was ever happened with that optimizer and we went looking for it, we wouldn't find it over there where it's supposed to be. Makes sense. You know, we'd have to go digging around the system. It makes troubleshooting a lot harder for us. Gotcha. Yep. Um, also, we're going to be getting rid of this flashing system that they used here. So this one is kind of like some older technology. Um, what we use now is we call it the Iron Ridge system. So that flashing actually tucks itself up underneath the shingles. And then when we're applying it down, we also use what's called an M1. It's like a uh, roof cement. Mm -hmm. And that makes a watertight bond to the roof. This way, 25 years from now, mm -hmm. you know, it'll still be watertight. Ian, a lot of people ask me, um, you know, when we're about to work together, they say, well, how are we going to keep the water? How are we going to keep the roof watertight until it rains? So 
what do we do here? You know, when you guys are finished today and we're gonna come tomorrow, what happens if it rains tonight? How do we prevent any water from coming into the home between tonight and tomorrow? Sure, that's a good question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these components up and then before we leave today, we're going to actually waterproof it. So we're gonna use some Karnak, some roofing tar, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go over all the holes. But the best thing is when we coordinate, we have you there the very next day, you know? Yeah. So we're limiting that time frame where anything could happen. Exactly. So are we gonna are we gonna leave these footings in and we're gonna rip them off or are you gonna take these footings out? Usually we leave the footings on, right? Yeah, so most likely with this system, we're gonna take all the equipment off, but just leave the footing and then your guys will come through and they'll take that footing off. This way we keep that water barrier. Perfect. Do you think this is actually wind damage right here? Like look at that, that's wind damage. Some of it is, yeah. You know, like you got that scarring up on there like that. Yeah, the scarring's usually from. And then this roof, these are two different ages right here. This yeah. front looks like it's been done already. This is where the scarring really come from. It's from wind moving it like this and then the granules come away. But that over there, the way that that tore, there's like none of this. This roof is definitely two different ages. I mean, you can see it here, like this critter, he also did this as well over here. I mean, we're not talking about little holes that they caused here. No. This is something that, you know, we'll get into the attic spaces and that will start causing mold. And then you're talking about abatements and stuff like that. So we need to hit this quick and we need uh, a rapid roof on here right away. What we like to do too, is we also like to check each one of the paddles when they're coming up and make sure that there's no damage to them. Because if there's damage, any kind of critter damage or anything like that, we like to repair it right away. Mm -hmm. This way, when we're putting it back up on the roof, you know, we're talking about something that's going to be 20 years plus, you know, holding back up on there. Awesome. Not putting broken panels back up on the roof. Yeah. It's seriously, it's a big thing. You know, what these critters like to do is they like to chew up all the wires. Which are live. I, mean, I never understood that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They get so, a nice shot. We have found our fair share of skeletons underneath there. I'm sure. Yeah, so they definitely got blazed a couple of times. But this system is not bad. What they did was they just went after the shingles, but with other systems we see, they will just tear up. They'll turn a $40,000 system into a paperweight on your roof, you know, if you're not careful. So that's why we really like to educate the customers about putting a critter damage guard around there before anything happens. So that's really big. Yeah, I think uh, I think you upsold one of the one of the jobs that we work together on on the critter guards. Yeah, I know they don't like to hear it, you know, because it's one of those added expenses that you're not waiting for or ready for. Mm -hmm. But at the same point, it has to be done, you know. Yeah, for sure, I agree. We're just doing our final inspection before we take the system down. We like to go over everything, the inverter panels, everything, make sure it's operating correctly, so that when we take it down and we put it back up, we make sure that we're working with a viable system. So if you just come over here and take a look real quick. So what we're looking at here is the solar inverter for the whole entire system. Uh, we just like to verify that it's operating correctly. And now we can see that even though the critters got to the roof, they actually didn't damage the solar system. So now that that's taken care of, we can shut down the system and start removing the panels. All right guys, day two, we're getting the roof done today. As you saw before, Ian had a solar customer who was dealing with some really bad roof leaks, some bad critter damage. So he let us know we're replacing the roof and tomorrow we'll put the solar panels back on. Come check it out, see what's going on. So Ian, you're here watching us replace the roof. What are some of the things that you're looking for while we replace the roof? So Mike, first of all, what we're looking for, it looks like that you guys put ice and weather shield where the solar is gonna be, that's excellent. That adds an extra barrier of protection for the solar and makes it watertight. So that's one of the things we're looking for. The other thing is um, the decking. So you guys checked over the plywood and made sure that that's okay to handle the solar system. We love it. Everything looks great so far. Exactly. So what Ian's saying is solar panels add a lot of weight to the roofing system. So one of the things we have to make sure when we rip the roof is that the rafters aren't too far apart and that the plywood is thick enough to hold the weight of the solar panels for another 20 years. So we checked the rafters are 16 on center. These are more than capable of supporting the system that Ian's gonna be putting back on tomorrow. How would you like to be up there today shooting nails? Uh, I do it all the time. I'm gonna go up there and do it now. Really? Yeah. 
to that. Oh, we yeah. have skylights over here. Gary, the project manager's out getting new skylights <laughs> right now. But I mean, uh, that's what they need. Yeah. They need that replaced for sure. Yeah. Well, because he's uh, he oh, like he took over this system. So this uh -huh. solar system was something that like he bought with the house. So he had uh -huh. no idea what he was getting into. Really? Yeah. And that's like one of the things that I try and tell. I want to get involved with the uh, inspectors and do like a thorough inspection. Let's just say it's two hundred and fifty dollars. At least then you know exactly what kind of shape the solar system is. So this guy bought the house not knowing that the solar panels and the critter damage and... Had no idea of anything that was going on up there, you know? And the inspector, it's very basic. He just looks at it and says, all right, it looks like it's attached to the roof. The hard thing with home inspectors, though, is remember, real estate agents call home inspectors. Yeah. So if the home inspector starts saying, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, he's not going to yeah, get a call not... from that real estate guy anymore. So I would almost do like an independent, like free, he's buying or selling a home, let me come check out the solar, exactly. make sure it's set. You know, give that security to the mm -hmm. homeowner that they know what they're getting into. It's yeah. hard to see just, you know, by face value, what's going on with the system until you really get a technician to dive into it mm -hmm. and show how it actually works, operates and yep. everything. Awesome. All right, guys, day three, we got the solar panels removed. Yesterday, we replaced the roof, and today we're putting the solar panels back on. This is kind of a long, arduous process, and Ian's going to explain what it takes to replace an existing solar panel system. Uh, as you can see back here, we got the guys chalking up the system, getting it all measured up. It is very important that we follow exactly how we took the system off. It needs to go up the same exact way. This way, we get the right production, and the homeowner's happy with the work. So Ian and I are going to work together. We're going to watch the solar panels get installed onto the roof system and make sure that we're not going to have any problems with water from the roof or with the solar panels. Hey guys, can you believe they're drilling into our brand new roof and it just doesn't affect the warranty? We're reinstalling solar panels after a new roof replacement. We're working together with Ian from Renew Solar Solution. He had a customer that was having critter damage on his roof. So they, remo they removed the panels, we replaced the roof, and now today we're reinstalling the old system. Look at this, this is sawdust. We got holes in the brand new roof. Mike, don't worry, we got this. When it comes to the flashing we use, they're top in the industry. We take this flashing, we shove it up underneath to the second course, making a water barrier alone. Then we use a commercial grade silicone to seal it in. So when this is done, it will be waterproof. 25 years for the solar, 50 for the roof. We're all good here. As you can see, we've got about 50 holes in this roof right now. We've got 50 holes and we trust Renew Solar Solutions to be able to come in and drill this roof and keep it watertight.